Hello guys, and welcome to my September Project Wax update. So I actually have four candles that I finished in the last month. I have two that I'm gonna take out of the project, and then I have five, count that, five fall candles that I'm putting into the project because I'm full fall mode right now, and I'm so excited. If you couldn't tell about my background, I am full fall mode and I do have a pup right here sleeping and he's kind of snoring. So if you hear a little bit of snoring, that's definitely Kai, <laughs> but he's doing very good by the way, just a little like health update for him. He's doing so much better. I think we found a medication that works for him. So yeah. All right, let's start with the candles that I finished. If you watched my August empties, these two were in there. So I finished off Santorini Coast, one of my faves. I think in the last video I asked you guys if I should finish it or not because I was about right here on the candle and yeah, I just finished it. It was so good. I just like went crazy finishing it at the end of August so that way I can move on to Fall Scents and this is such a good candle. I will definitely be searching for that one during Winter SAS so I can save it for next summer. And then I also finished off Cozy Linen. This one, not my favorite candle. I'm not really like a crazy laundry kind of person. I'd much rather like a fresh scent, like an outdoorsy fresh scent than clean linens. But I went from here to here and finished it off. So that is this one. One that I put in the project last month, uh, Sugared Snickerdoodle. I went from here to here, finished it off. This was such a good candle. I will definitely pick it up again in the single wick for uh, when it comes out for winter because this is one that comes out every single year. It's almost guaranteed. So I'll probably use a free reward and pick this up again. It was so good to like put in the bathrooms when people were coming over because it just smells amazing. I don't know. And then I remember putting this in the project, but I don't think it was in the video for last month. I don't know how that happened, but we have champagne, apple and honey right here. Um, I finished it. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, there wasn't a lot left apparently. I marked it, it was right here. And so I probably only used it a couple times, but this is my favorite scent for fall. And well, for September actually, like an intro to fall. So I am putting in another apple scent to replace it since I did finish it, but it's just so, so good. Okay, these two I am actually gonna take out of the project because I don't wanna focus on finishing them. Finishing them. I wanna focus on other candles. So we have buttery popcorn. You guys know this has been in the project for months and months now. And I did actually get progress on it from here to here in the last month. So that's good, but I don't know. It's just such a weird candle. It only, I'm only gonna use it a certain amount of times. So I'm just not gonna focus on it. I'm taking it out. I'm probably gonna leave it in my TV stand though for like movie nights if we wanna use it, but I'm not focused on it. And then this one I am gonna save for next year. You guys help me decide. This is toasted or pistachio and toasted vanilla. And I decided I'm gonna save it for January. I really liked this one last year after the holidays. So I think I'm gonna save it for myself for then as a little treat. So I did get some progress from here to here and I'm just gonna put it back in my collection and save it for next year. Okay, let's talk about progress. So I do have some progress on Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. This one I just put in the project last month. We were up to here and now we're down to here. This one is a little too strong for my office downstairs. So I think I'm gonna bring it back up to the kitchen and use it here because it's just super overpowering down there in just like a small room. So I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna bring it into the kitchen and try to use it that way, but just enjoying it. One that is almost finished is Affogato Espresso from Homeworks. I am so close to finishing it this morning. I thought would be the last burn, but it didn't burn itself out. So we went from here to down to here in the last month. So a lot of progress and it'll definitely be done the next burn, I'm assuming. So that is Affogato Espresso, and I'm really enjoying it. It's like a perfect morning scent. And then we have In the Stars plus Honeycrisp Apple. This was the blends collection from this summer's SAS, and I only burned it once. I burned it one time in my bedroom. I really, really like this one in the bedroom though. It just, honestly, it just smells like In the Stars to me when it's burning. I thought I was burning In the Stars candle, um, when I like walked into the room where it was burning and no, it was this one. So I really enjoy it. I like body care candles in my bedroom. So I'm going to keep this one in there and continue to burn it. 
Okay, fall candles. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna actually put in two that I've already been burning. So we have pumpkin pecan waffles, which this one was unused and I started burning it. I think I lit it up for like the day before the first college football game. I think I lit it up like the Saturday of the first SEC game because that's just like pumpkin pecan waffles is to me a watching football kind of scent. So I love this one so much. Um, I'm already down to here. I've burned it every football Saturday and Sunday since, so it's been burned four times. <laughs> I have actually been catching up with the Texans game, games as well. So I'm following the Texans this year and the LSU Tigers, who I follow every year. That's my sports team. But yeah, pum pumpkin pecan waffles, just one of my absolute favorites. So excited to bring it back out. That one really signals the start of fall for me. And then I'm also bringing out pumpkin peanut brittle. So this one is from 2022. I have saved it for myself and it's one of my absolute favorites. So the notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. Oh, it's so yummy. Not really a fall scent. I mean, now I associate it with fall, but I would say it's kind of just a year-round gourmand scent. Very cozy, pretty nutty. I really like this one. I've had it in the living room. I think I'm actually gonna try using it in my office because in the living room, it's not like my favorite scent. So we are right up here. I think I've only burned it once or twice so far. So putting that in the project. And then one that I'm excited to bring out every single year is Hot Cider Donut from Homeworks. And I am almost finished with this one. Like look how little I have left. I have about this much left on the candle. So once I get started with this one, it's definitely gonna be finished off pretty fast. The notes are harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spiced cider. This one I have a feeling I'm not gonna bring out until October though. Um, this is a really, really good cold weather fall scent. So I think I'm going to have to wait until we get our first like cold front or something to bring this one out. But if I'm feeling super, super fall cozy and Halloween-y, I will definitely bring this one out. And then I'm also putting in two from my latest candle haul, which just went up. I'll link it up above if you haven't seen it. I'm putting in these two. So first we have Apple Crisp. And this one is, I think, a new scent for this year. The notes are caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, and sugared oats. So this one is definitely going to replace uh, champagne, apple, and honey downstairs. I really like an apple scent for September. It's just like that perfect fruitiness when it's still too hot to like actually go to pumpkin. The notes are caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, and sugared oats. It smells so good. It's really giving me like harvest gathering kind of vibes. Um, definitely like a red delicious apple and lots and lots of cinnamon and clove. I'm not getting a bakery note or like oats or anything. So I'm hoping when I burn it, that bakery note starts to come through, but that's apple crisp. I'll keep you guys updated on what I think about it in next month's video, but we are currently unused on this one. And then the last candle that I'm putting in is pumpkin cinnamon bun. This was one of my favorite candles from last year and I'm really happy they brought it back again. The notes are warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. This one legit smells like cinnamon rolls. You get that cream cheese frosting, you get that like cinnamon dough. It smells so good. I cannot wait to burn this one on like weekend mornings. It's gonna be so delicious. This one is also unused right at the top and it's definitely gonna go in the kitchen for a morning scent. Okay, so that is everything for today's Project Wax update video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what scents are you burning currently for fall. I would love to hear what your like September scent is. If you're like me and need like an intro into fall, or if you go straight into pumpkin, let me know down below. But thank you so, so much for watching this video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.